all right beautiful people so today is the last day of clinicals which i have simulation lab so i mean whatever so we're going to be in here we're doing a case study on um a neuro patient so someone that had a stroke because that is what we're learning in class is a uh, neurological disorders so that's what we're doing today i looked over the information like they give us some information in regards to the scenario and what's going on with the patient vital signs and things like that I'll show you guys here so it's like their history um the situation and then we have the orders of what the doctor wants and what's that. I'm trying to show you guys here. I'm missing my papers. But they have orders. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. But it tells you um, basically what's that, what needs to be done um, in regards to the patient, including PRN medications. So. I have all of that. I just printed it out. I really didn't, I kind of like glanced over it, but I didn't really like look over it. Now, the thing about Simulation Lab is one, my group, because they split us up in so many groups. So it's like, I think like five people to a group or something like that. And my group, every simulation, which we have it, we had it once a month because we had to do cardiac respiratory and then neuro is that my group we literally missed all of them except for neuro so for, like okay so we missed them because when it was time for cardiac there was like a whole little snowstorm or something going on so they canceled it right so they canceled us coming in um the the school was closed for us to come in and do it so we end up just kind of going over the scenario on um blackboard collaborative with the teacher so i mean it's not the same as actually doing the actions so we did that and then when it was time for respiratory our teacher that does the simulation she was sick she was coughing um she was negative for covid but well i don't know if i can say that on youtube but anyways she was negative for the c word and the campus would not let her on campus the campus would not let her on campus yeah she couldn't come on campus because she was coughing so they were like no so she had to cancel and we had to again meet on blackboard collaborative in regards to the scenario of respiratory so of course that's not the same we didn't get to do anything so um, we just went over it and stuff like that so this is our first time my group first time actually being on campus doing a simulation lab for neuro so hopefully it ain't too bad from what other students have told me is that she gives people roles and she kind of rotate those roles so it's not just you go in there and you're freestyling and you and the other students are trying to figure out who doing what it's like no she's assigning things um as far as your role are you the bedside nurse are you the medication nurse are you the um nurse that's documenting sorry but um yeah so she gives you roles so it's a lot more organized compared to last semester they just threw us in there and laughed about it like they thought it was hilarious the um clinical instructor i had last time um he just kind of threw us in there and was just like figure it out and he just had a ball laughing at us we like killed our patient we almost killed our patient like 80 times and yeah it was it was a mess um but this semester, they seem to be more organized when it comes to simulation lab, which, like I said, this is my first time being on campus uh, to actually do a simulation lab. So I'm not exactly sure what to expect. I miss pre-conference. We supposed to do pre-conference like that Monday before you go to simulation because today is Wednesday and some groups have it on Tuesday, but you supposed to do pre-conference. I miss my pre-conference. I honestly forgot all about it um, because we have class that day. And we get out of class around like 12 o'clock or one o'clock ish and then pre-conference is not until like 4 30 in the evening so i completely i don't know didn't think about didn't think about it at all so i missed it so <laughs> they give us like a list of 
pre-conference questions like what is a stroke what are the signs of stroke what it's like a bunch of questions and then you go over it in pre-conference of the answers yeah i missed that i looked at some of the questions and yeah i'm like dang how did i miss that like so that's what I mean when I say a planner and write everything down because that was the one thing I did not write down in my planner. And when I looked over it at work that night before, because I had worked Sunday night and I was looking at my planner to see what I had coming up for the week or whatever, and I did not write that down. Yeah, and I forgot. I completely forgot about that. And I was like, dang. So I don't know if she... You know, I don't really know. Hopefully she don't be picking on me too much since I didn't go to pre-conference and asked me a bunch of questions since I was like not there or if she even noticed I wasn't there because you know, it's all online anyways. So hopefully she didn't notice, but I'll be sure to tell you guys. Um, Yeah, so I'm about to go do that. And then when I get done with that, I really don't know. I need to study. Um, we do have a neuro, neuro test coming up um let's say wednesday monday we have a neuro test on monday i have to get to the simulation lab so i will catch you guys when i get done So I just got done doing simulation. It wasn't that bad. I honestly thought it was going to be way worse. It wasn't that bad. Um, they did have roles. So we had the charge nurse, the bedside nurse, medication nurse, and the documentation nurse. And you basically just rotate. So after so long, the system will tell you time to rotate. And then you'll just rotate to the next position. So it wasn't that bad. After we did that, she, um, we had like a mini little session of her telling us like, you know, you know, we, you, your group had problems with prioritization, um, which we did. And she, uh, was like, but I want you guys to make mistakes here. Like this is learning. Like she made it like a learning experience, which I really love. Like she, it wasn't like no high pressure. It was great. So yeah, it was actually really good. I enjoyed Sim Lab, even though I don't enjoy doing Sim Lab, but this one was not bad. So after I did that, I had to go to the cashier's office, turn in my transcripts. I had to submit that um, to the board of nursing because they send over to the board of nursing once you have completed the semester. And then I'm trying to think what else I need to do. So they don't know if we're having a pen and ceremony or not, but they wanted us to buy our pens, but the pens are like $40 for like this little bitty pen, uh, which I'm going to buy it. But the lady was like, oh, you, it's not a rush into getting it. You can wait to the last minute and get it because they always have some. So I'm like, all right, whatever. So I'm not in a rush for that. But they said they don't know if we're having a pen and ceremony or not. Like they still don't know. All the campuses have to agree and all of that stuff so we're just waiting for that oh so since ati is coming in like two weeks they're going to be talking to our class i think it's like from nine to four for like three days straight um pretty much like an nclex review because that is what they you know use are they parked on the grass anyways um but they gave us this book right here oh, yeah, i have to hold it up a little better they gave us this book um, an NCLEX Art and Review, the Comprehensive Review uh, book, 19th edition. And I guess that's the book we're going to use um, for the ATI like class that they're doing. Um, but I like it because it's pink. It's really cute. But yeah, we're, we're using that book. And then <clears throat> we do have a debriefing at 
two o'clock today. We meet on Blackboard Collaborative and we debrief. I haven't looked at any of the questions, but she assigned questions to us already. And we just answer that question and then talk about it, I guess, in, in class once we meet up online. I did get my pictures back, which are pretty cute. Yeah. You know, it's cute. Um, the pictures that he took were super cute. I don't think I would have technically picked this particular picture. They picked it, but um, it's cute though. I do look a little chubby to me uh, with my face. I feel like I look chubby. Um, but it's just probably my own perception of myself because other people say the picture looks fine, but whatever. So I'm just gonna go home, get prepared for a debriefing. I'm going to study um i'm going to find something to eat i haven't ate all morning uh, other than that that's it like that's all i got right now so i'm gonna touch bases talk a little bit more when i get home um with you guys but as you see it's raining the day i decide sorry my finger in the way but the day i decide not to bring a coat a jacket an umbrella like i didn't bring anything because it was so nice outside this morning when i left and i was like oh it's gonna be a nice day i don't need a i don't need anything Cause I feel like sometimes I just over like do it and bring way too much stuff. So I'm like, I'm not going to bring nothing. <sighs> Y'all, it started raining and all of that stuff. So it looks horrible outside. I didn't watch the weather. So, um, yeah, the one girl was like, oh, it's supposed to rain all day. Good thing she had an umbrella in her car because me and her used her umbrella um, to go to the cashier's office and to the bookstore to like, you know, look at all that stuff. So... I'm like, whoo, thank goodness for her. Cause I was not trying to uh, walk through this rain like that, be soaking wet. But it's not raining right now, but it's supposed to like be, I guess, on and off all day. So yeah, let me go ahead and head on out. And I will touch bases with you guys uh, when I get home. So I have finally made it home. I did my debriefing already in class. I kind of wanted to wait, you see this house is a mess. Um. We did the briefing where we basically just discussed, you know, um, certain questions like what do you feel um, interventions were done and was it done in a timely manner and was they effective? Things like that. What were some mistakes that you learned? Um, how was, how did, would you feel? How did you feel about the communication that was done with the family and with the doctors, with each other? Like questions like that. And each one of us had a question to answer. It was, I believe, nine questions. And it was our group, which were four of us in our group, and then four in the second group that went in after us. So <clears throat> we did that. Um, it went by pretty fast. It was like 30 minutes. Um, it took about 30 minutes to do that, and then we were done. Now, we do have a reflective paper to do, um, like one page. And it's, um, again, asking questions, and you basically just type it up into like a page form of your clinical simulation um, experience. So I already did it, honey. I had to get done. I got to study. I don't have all day. We have until tomorrow morning to turn it in, but I'm not going to wait that late. So I went on and just typed up the paper and emailed it to her already because I don't have time to be thinking about that. When we have this neuro test coming up next week, I need to be focused. And then we have finals three days after the neuro test. So I got things to do, okay? And then we still have an ATI um, comprehensive predictor test or something like that. I don't remember, but we have to do that as well. So we got some things coming up right now, but we're at the end. So I'm really excited to be at the end of this whole journey, okay? <clears throat> so I'm gonna go study and do some practice questions so yeah that's what i'm gonna go do let me go ahead and hop to it and i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog if you have any questions for me definitely comment that down below but i appreciate y'all okay y'all been here so i appreciate you but that's it so i'm gonna go ahead and get started you guys have a good day and i will see you guys in the next video peace